Welcome to the iStar Vega tutorials, how to scan black objects and align multiple projects in StarVision. We can see that this game controller of PlayStation is entirely black painting, with non-rich geometric features like buttons on the front, while the back has less. With reflective and transparent surface like those buttons, we suggest to use spray powder. But this time, we will not use any spray powder to test how Vega performs on this object. For items like this, we recommend using a turntable. When scanning surfaces with few geometric and color features, like the back of this gamepad, adding extra markers on the turntable can enhance tracking, providing a smoother experience and a great efficiency. Firstly, switch to HD mode. Adjust the exposure to the highest level and see a slight reddish tint appears in the preview window. For this controller, since it's pure black, we can move the brightness level to the top in order to get more complete data. Turn on the marker alignment, of course. Now we can start scanning. Please open the data quality indicator and scan multiple times to make sure all data shows green. Then we can start the next project with the help of markers on the turntable. Objects with few features can also be tracked smoothly during scanning. For more complete data, let's scan the top area. Once scanning is complete, connect the Vega to the computer using the standard USB-C cable. When the prompt appears on the device, Select File Transfer, then choose the project you want to process and import it into the workspace. You can use automatic feature alignment to quickly obtain the desired data. If the results show slightly differences, you can also option for manual alignment. After all the odd jobs done, you can match the data with a suitable resolution. Here we get it. Thanks for watch. Don't forget to follow us if you find this helpful. See you in next video.